Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome back to Arkham Horror Mother's Embrace. As always, I am the host of your video, Davin. With all the introductions out of the way, again, as always, let's play. Now, in the last episode... Back to my office makes it clear you must visit Miskatonic University. Not only did I work there, but the broken jar came from the university lab. Why did those strange men need it? Whatever the answer, you're sure to find it at Miskatonic. To Miskatonic! Now, in the last episode, obviously, we witnessed a cult murder, or what we assume was the cult murdering before Professor Tillagast. I believe her name is Tillagast, if I remember correctly. So now we found a jar, and that leads us to going to uh, the University of Miskatonic. So that, I believe, is our next step. Jim Culver, the musician. And what is this guy's name again? I forget this guy's name. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. Escape for back? Okay, so Roland Banks. So we have ourselves a sharpshooter FBI agent and Jim Culver, a musician. Welcome to Miskatonic University, home of the prestigious Orn Library, which includes the country's largest collection of occult books. I once studied here as a student, later donning the mantle of professor and passing along all I learned to the next generation of astronomy students. This place was like a second home to me. Perhaps the things I left behind will provide you with clues to the answers you seek. Science and that is a physics big sounds telescope. like a lot of math. I'd rather do my counting bar to bar. Yo, I get it. I get it because he is a jazz musician. Well, it has changed over the years. No place feels more like home to me. Not even my little house. The secretary said Professor Norman Withers could give us access to Professor Tillinger's office. But what do we expect to find? Uh, answers to maybe missing items or jars that might uh, lead to the people that have stolen it and uh, the cult. Maybe, possibly. All right. Let's I don't feel like I'm going to attack by a mythos beast in the middle what? of the uh, the middle of the university here. Exploration and Combat Overlay. The overlay is available in both Exploration and Combat by pressing Tab or clicking on the icon representing the three investigators in the bottom left of the screen. Displayed by default are the statistics for your current group. Mythos, Trauma, and Conditions. Okay! Your investigators, no Mythos. If this fills, it's going to send a Mythos beast at us, so we have to take care of it? Question mark? Does it tell me the damage from my guns? Alright. Now... Let's go look at this piece of paper right here. A manila file folder. Looking inside, you spot what might be something useful. You have found a new item, epinephrine. So I, I just looked at a manila folder and I found a shot of ep epinephrine just sitting on a bench. Um. Okay. <laughs> Whatever. Makes sense. It's uh. This might be a druggy college undercover. You know what I mean? This is where all the uh. The good stuff has come to trade. A note left on a bench a student sits on catches your eye. It reads, I can't stop thinking about that queer old book with its strange writing. Even holding it in my hand seems to drain my energy, as if it were some sort of vampire sucking away my energy. When Professor Tillagas caught me with it, she confiscated it at once. I haven't seen it since. Okay, so we have... This is the most awkward stuff laying around on benches. People just leaving notes around. People leaving, like, epinephrine just laying around. Is this the map of the place? The bulletin board includes a map of the first floor of the science the astronomy building, complete with a big red arrow. You are here. Um, could I at least like use it to find the, the office of the person I'm looking for? Possibly, maybe? A shelf full of trophies, all inscribed for the Miskatonic Astronomy Club. You wonder what sort of astronomy even results in a trophy. Like star constellations We're and stuff like that, maybe? Office on the left. Withers to the right. They must have known each other pretty well. Professor Tillinger's door is locked. But of course, well, pick my the lock. friend. Academics are no less prone to snooping around each other's secrets. 
Why do you have a secret? Some have even hmm? been known hmm? to steal a colleague's research and present it as Foreshadowing. Their own. All right, I feel like there's a story with Dr. Norman we Weathers right in that sentence. Key. Why would Withers have a key to her office? That's the real question. This goes back to administration. We already have the information we need. So, like, the way she made it sound is that, like, Withers might have, like, stole research from her, presented it as his own. So it makes me wonder why he has a key to her office. I but... no, Agatha. You will pardon me for... Nice beard. ...saying I have never believed your methods to be the least bit scientific. I refuse to believe that Wilhelmina would have... Oh, they're talking about me. Norman and I were colleagues for years. So naturally, we addressed each other by our Christian names. You, of course, may call me Professor Tillingust. I can't call you anything. You're dead. Yes, what is it? How can I help you? Pardon the intrusion, Professor Withers. We're investigating Professor Tillingust's death, and we... Not again. Can't an old man mourn his friend in peace? Oh, these constant intrusions by reporters and police and garden variety busybodies. Yeah, those garden variety busybodies. How dare they? As I told your friends earlier, I do not wish to be disturbed. Listen, pal. Wait just a moment, Norman. Something tells me these people aren't the same as the others. Look at their eyes. They've seen things beyond the quotidian. What the hell does quotidian mean? Oh, forgive my manners. I'm Professor Agatha Crane. And you seem to know of my colleague, Professor Norman Withers. Something tells me you've seen Wilhelmina, haven't you? Uh, that is, Professor Tillingest. Agatha, for heaven's sake, stop this nonsense. No. Professor Withers, she's right. We, have we arrived too late to save Professor Tillingest. But we've seen evidence that whatever happened to her was unnatural to say the least. We intend to get to the bottom of it. I told you, Norman, that box could hold more than knickknacks and jujaws. I, for one, want to see it for myself. You there, come with me. What? Where are you going, you, you, you confounded parapsychologist? To the observatory. Wait here, Norman. I know you won't want to be disturbed further. Yeah, show this humble jazz musician all of the stuff that's going on with this murder scene. My gosh. The file cabinet is open. Inside, you find something interesting. Five bullets. Hmm, why is there five bullets in your cabinet here, huh? Hmm? Wait, what does she have in her inventory? Oh, inventory is I, I believe, right? Bromo caffeine. Stronger than 10 cups of coffee, this bromo caffeine will get you moving faster. I feel like that's like heart attack in a in a cup. Before I make a decision, I must consider the facts. Interact. Professor Norman with Professor Norman Withers stands before you, puffing his cheeks impatiently. I know you wish to have searched the observatory, but for the life of me, I can't imagine what you expect to find there. Uh, we are going to find the murderer of our dear friend Professor Tillygast. Now, which way to the... Oh, it's going to be upstairs. All right. I want to make sure I've seen everything in here that I can see. I'm pretty sure I have. All I know is that I found epinephrine sitting on a bench. I just took it. What does epinephrine actually do? Ah, oh, the old observatory. Don't be fooled by its antiquated fixtures, my friends. Of course, the new Gerald Warren Astronomical Observatory is a technological marvel. But I shall always remember this one more fondly. Through these telescopes, I first gazed with wonder at the stars and the vast voids between them. All right, let's... I want to see a mythos beast. That's what I want to see. That's all I want to see. Why is there a pen and paper on the ground? So much clutter fills this desk that it might take a while to find a needle in this proverbial haystack. You need to open... I'm sorry. You decide to open the small top drawer. You should be so lucky. You found a new item. Book of Restrain. The eldritch phrase that binds the target's limbs slowing movement. 
Who can do spells? I'd assume that she's a spell person. Oh, I can drag now. Nice. Could it be? Yes, these glyphs indicate gestures of power, of magic. This, my friends, is a grimoire. Grimoire! A book of spells. A grimoire! What it is doing at the university, grimoire. I can't say. But we mustn't let this opportunity go to waste. We must see whether these spells work. He's just sitting there. Grimoire, you say? Grimoire, you say? Just look at him. <laughs> I feel like that's a stretch. This lady's like, spells? Spells? Spell book? You found a spell book? Let's see if it works. Once the pride of Miskatonic University Astronomy Department, this outdated telescope hasn't seen much use in recent years. Yeah, I'll take it. It's a big telescope. A bookcase in need of tidying. You have found a new item, a pipe wrench. Can I dual wield a pipe wrench and a knife? Actually, we're gonna give it to her because I don't think she has a weapon. Let her smoke some people over the head with a pipe wrench. After locating the locker labeled Professor Withers, you find it locked tight. I think we should, uh... So which one's manual? Perhaps something other than a key can open this lock. So do what does that... Oh, lockpick. Okay. Tillagast's box. Okay, can we open it? Here is the mysterious box. The label marks it as belonging to Professor Tillingist. What are these strange things inside? This symbol. It was in Professor Tillingist's room. You've seen this symbol in Wilhelmina's room, haven't you? It is similar to the iconography of ancient pagan rituals. Here is proof that Wilhelmina's research went beyond known science and into the realm of the paranormal. Many of our colleagues questioned Agatha's unorthodox avenues of research, but none questioned her resolve. Once she sets her mind to a goal, nothing can stop her. We must show this to Norman. Only then will he help us. You got some sick glasses. Can I get some bifocals like those, please? Wait, is it an... Can I, can I zoom in? What? is that is that a monocle can i have a monocle it's like a big monocle though yeah so i'll go back over here and talk to mr norman withers yes no maybe Ooh, telescope i didn't i don't think i could look here norman see the odd things in this box of wilhelminas whatever she was researching it was far more than that comet i don't see what this has to do with her death we saw a sign identical to the one on this box in the room where Professor Tillingus was killed. I must admit that seems far too unlikely to be mere coincidence. Very well. You have my attention and my help. It was Carl Withers in the mansion with the cult. Wilhelmina well, left Arkham earlier this year and I received this box. After hearing no word from her, I became concerned, and I, I confess, I briefly searched her office for some indication of the purpose of her travel. Oh, Norman, you dear fool. I was only gone a week. Why did you worry so? Unfortunately, I couldn't make sense of her notes. They made no sense to me. I did sense a whiff of the occult about them, which I admit made me uneasy. Sense a whiff of the occult about them. What? One horn's never as good as a whole band. We should play this tune together until we find out what's at the end. Ah, obligatory music, uh, music saying in there. You're right, of course. Yeah, take the key to Wilhelmina's office. While you have a look in there, I'll pour over these notes again. What was that sound? It came from next door. My office. Who's in that office? Wait, what? Get out of my way, chair. I have things to do. Can I open it now? Okay, cool. Open sesame. What was that commotion? There's nobody here. 
Did you not just see all those people running by? Was that a nobody? Someone beat us to it. The room's been searched, and recently. Just look at this mess. Someone has ransacked my office. Those bastards! Look there. Even the safe is broken open. Now they're on the lam. We gotta nab them before they get off campus. Whoever it is must be dangerous. You must protect the students. But first I'm gonna search the office. You find a book by the notorious occultist Alistair Crowley. Alistair? Al Alistair? Alistair Crowley. Entitled A Treatise on Astrology. Safe? The safe in Professor Tilligus' office has been forced open, presumably by the same culprit who ransacked the office. There is nothing left inside the safe. Yo, who you gonna call? Ghostbusters! A series of notes written in Professor Tilligus' distinctive hand, and they appear to be nothing more than observations on her students, which she apparently liked to pair off like a matchmaker. While amusing, the notes don't appear useful to your investigation. You feel at peace. Plus one sanity gain. Yay! Plus one sanity! We didn't really need it. You see Edward Hopper's painting House by the Railroad. Its stark vertical and horizontal lines, as well as its striking color palette, seem unsettling in this context. Does that mean I lose my sanity point? Alright, let us go say hello to our cultist friends. Judging by their clothes... These are the same people who are in the professor's house. They're the ones who looted her office. No. Stop them. Who are these interlopers? Deal with them Wait. while the others escape. Who said that that... Did they say that we ransacked the office? Or did we say that they ransacked the office? You learn something new every day. What the hell? You're off my shed today, boy. Uh, first we want to move. Uh, confirm my position? Yes. And I'm gonna stabby stab! Can I not stabby stab? Attack this enemy? Yes. Stab! So it's more like slashy slash still, I suppose. Wait, why punch? Okay. We're going to take aim at you. Can I not shoot you? Hello? There we go. Attack this enemy? Yes. And we are going to also use Overwatch. And we'll use it in that general direction. We are going to have you... Move... Here. And we're going to have you hit him. Can I not have you attack him? Hello? Hello? Oh, it costs three action points. I don't have them. Uh, I guess we will end your turn right here. Unless... No, no, no. Not that one. We want to... Did I do it on this guy? No. How about this? No. I think we're just going to go ahead and overwatch on this guy. So if he moves, we give him the old... Ow! Yeah. Yo, you're moved. Shoot him! Let's get- Oh, come on. You could do a little bit more damage than that. Slashy slash. Mythos in combat. After all the characters have had their turn to attack, the mythos clock fills up. Be on your guard. Uh-oh. What does that mean? I'm excited to see one of these mythos creature things. Get out of here! Get out of here! The throat slash. The throat slash. And we're going to overwatch you. Luckily, I don't think I can hit my teammates. So we're just going to go ahead and pop. And I'm going to go ahead and end my turn. And you are going to hit him with a wrench. Yo, the wrench does more damage than the knife. All right. Okay. Ah! That scream is coming from down the corridor. Oh, no. The students. Must be one of those weird burglars. Let's go. 
Oof. Uh, how do I use bandages? Inventory, bandage, use. Oh, does it heal everybody? Oh, cool. How much does a bandage heal? Okay, 12. Perfect. Uh, there's a lot of stuff for us to look at in here. A bulletin board filled with flyers for university activities, including an announcement for an upcoming home game for the Miskatonic Squids, over which someone has scrawled Go Pods. Imagine calling your your sports team the Miskatonic Squids. Like, at least go, like, the Kraken or something, or the Cthulhu's. That scream came from right around here. This was Wilhelmina's classroom. It sounds as though some students have locked themselves in. Who? Who's out there? It's me, Professor Crane. Are you all right in there? We're safe, but some strange people attacked us. We managed to barricade ourselves inside. You stay put until we've dealt with them. Did you see which way they were heading? They ran down the next corridor. Be careful, Professor. They look dangerous. After we handle those burglars, we should come back here. If this was Professor Tillingist's classroom, we might find clues inside. Okay. So, let's go over here. And check the trash. We might find more needles with drugs in them. It's not the most glamorous job, but searching this garbage pin might turn up a clue. Make Maybe emptying this mess is how to start. Okay, look through. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Empty it. I'm a dumb dumb. There's just random bullets in the garbage can. What is wrong with this university? I'm finding need needles of drugs lying in folders. And bullets thrown away in garbage cans. Makes a lot of sense. Hey, more cigarettes. I thought... Yeah, never mind. Never mind. I made a mistake. Come here, you. How about... No. Come here. Help me! How about... No. <laughs> we must protect Fine. the Fine. Yo, I forgot to reload my gun. Some fights will require that you protect civilians. Make sure that you protect them. Use items or spells on them as needed. Okay, can we go first? Help me! Well, I will move right here. I'm actually going to protect right here. and confirm but what we're gonna do is we're gonna overwatch right here so that way if they actually attack him or come into that cone of light or s the cone my seeing cone my stabbing cone i will be able to attack them before they can reach him that one's got the most health i'm gonna attack him first <gasps> critical hit let's go and we're gonna overwatch right there and then we're going to go ahead and move her right there. And then we're going to book of spells. This dude. This is a holding spell, so it's going to hold him still. And you're the closest, so we're going to hold you there. Yeah, it works. You are restrained. During the course of the game, your investigators will see their status affected by various conditions, some positive, some negative. Whenever an investigator is affected, you will receive immediate feedback indicating this condition. This feedback will fade, but the portrait will display a buffed or debuffed icon. Confirm. You can obtain more detailed information about the condition affecting the investigators and the enemies by opening the overlay screen. Sure, sounds good. Wait. Why did you get the heal? Spellbooks allow the investigators to manipulate unfathomable energies. While a spellbook is equipped, the investigator can't use Overwatch, no matter the nature of the spell. I wish I would have known that previous to using the spell, because I had planned on using Overwatch. Some also may have unknown effects on your group or enemies. Oh, so it healed them. Okay. Yeah, get wrecked. Yo, Overwatch is actually overpowered. How did he move so far and still get to attack? <laughs> and they critic put the put the put the What? I thought he was restrained. 
the old one's influence. When the Mythos clock is full, a Mythos event is triggered, resulting in a penalty for the group. Also, your group will need to resist the Great Old One's influence or lose a sanity point. You feel? No. You hear? No. No, no. What is this? This is wrong. Your head is about to explode. Uh-oh. Help me! Well, um... I think he'll die on this one. I think, yeah, 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 okay, okay, we got one of them. And then if we overwatch these guys right here, we should be okay, I think. So I need to reload. That takes two points, so I won't be able to overwatch, but I don't think we'll need it. Um, I wanna hit this guy. No, I wanna attack this guy, because he's she's closer to him. No, I don't want to end my turn. I want to move. I wish it would auto put you on move. Instead of like on attack. Because it just makes more sense that you want to move first. And then select attack. Just seems like the natural order of things. This guy might die. Okay, luckily he tried to get after this. How are you not dead yet? Help me! Well, no shit, they want you dead. They want us dead, too. Uh, no, I want to attack this guy. There must be no chance to hit or misses or anything. And then I'm going to go ahead and shoot. No, actually, we're going to skip the turn. And we're gonna attack him with her to save bullets. I don't know what I'll know the trash can will come around with more ammunition for us, you know? Are you all right? Thank you. I think I'll be fine. It's mostly shock. You don't look very fine. This was just a diversion. We need to catch up to the men that were in Professor Tillingist's office. Go, 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 go. But first, is there epinephrine in here? From the Arkham Gazette, body vanishes. What the hell? From cemetery by Gerard White. The Arkham Gazette has learned that a body disappeared from the city cemetery early this morning. Police have questioned a man found on the scene, believing him to be a witness and perhaps an employee of the cemetery. More information to come as the story unfolds. You feel the stability of your mind shatter. Sanity check. All right, so did I look at these books? I know I looked at the trash can, obviously. Something sticks out from between the pages of this book. Okay. First off, I need to heal. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Use. I think I'm going to try to survive with that much, um, that much health. So we got bad guys through this door to the right here. Are you hurt? No, just bruised. It's the same picture as the other guy, but... Some men in weird costumes knocked me down. Which way did they go? They ran right into that classroom. They used the same picture as the previous student. Why? Hey, bandages. Oh, I can only stack three? Um, she's got bandages. I think I'm gonna go ahead and use one of these now. I keep pressing shift for the inventory. And then I right click to use, like an idiot. Use this item. I feel like they could have done a little bit better job. Like, it's not hard. I'm not going to sit here to act like the inventory management system is hard or anything. But they could have done a slightly better job of making it more natural feeling, I guess. But again, they made this for consoles too. So I have to keep in mind this is supposed to be made for controller as well. I really should try giving this a try with controller on PC. I think I'll do that in the next episode. There they are. They have the professor's things. Get them back. Yo, can you... Please give us back those things. Okay, thanks. These fools mustn't stop us. Deal with them. We're more worried about... Wait, does she have a gun? Oh, no. She's just holding her finger weird. She got to cast spells on us. Oh, now she's got a gun. If I have to fight, I'm going to win. So we'll move like this. Confirm our position. Stabby, slashy, stabby. Slashy! And then you're going to shoot 
you. Okay, nice critical, nice critical. We're gonna put an overwatch actually over here. And then I think we can maybe reach I can't quite reach them. Shoot. Yeah, that's even further. We're just gonna move right here. And I don't think that we'll need, I don't think that, that person will move or anything, but you never know. So. Why him? Why does everybody shoot the main character? Why does Culver always get, be like, is always the one that gets attacked? Every time. Never fails. So we're going to go ahead and attack you. Get wrecked. That's two critical hits in a row. We're a damn knife fighter. I feel like if I get a critical hit, I should be allowed to attack again. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. And you... No, 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 no. We are going to shoot. Actually, she's next, so we want to kill him. And she'll be able to take out that person. And then... And turn. And then she can move and take out the last person. And we'll be good to go. There it is. Did we critical hit? Oh, no. It's just the same damage every time. Okay. It looks like a critical hit with the damage thing. They won't be knocking down any more students. Now, let's see what they took from Professor Tillingist's office. Robbing the robbers. It would all seem a bit tawdry if it weren't so tawdry. poetic. It would all seem a bit tawdry if it weren't so poetic. Uh, interact. The unmoving body of one of these strangely garbed intruders. He won't be terrorizing the students any longer. Perhaps he carried identification or better yet. A clue. Rut row. Rut row raggy. No need to dirty my hands. A good look should do it. Ow. Man's pro course produces no clues. The dead won't mind if I see what's on the body. Okay. A search of the corpse turns up a letter from the head of the Department of Science and Astronomy. It grants Professor Tillygast exclusive use of the science lab for a time. Reading between the lines, he presumes she intended to perform an experiment there. Okay. This letter indicates that Professor Tillingist reserved the science lab for some experiment. Your prototypical detective type that smokes a lot, wears a trench coat, and has a deep, gruff voice. <laughs> Mental resistance is reduced when health is very low. Every new sight of violence reminds you how fragile you have become. You can't stand seeing so much as a scratch anymore. Algophobia. Algophobia? Algophobia. Algophobia. Suffering trauma. Once an investigator's sanity reaches zero, a trauma will be inflicted on him or her. Your investigator can be affected by up to three different traumas simultaneously. A fourth trauma will upgrade an existing trauma. If your investigators accumulate too many traumas too quickly, it can change the course of events. These traumas can be purged by leaving the investigator at the office between scenarios. Okay. So we do check, do we, are we going to find anything on the last guy or what? I'm trying to search him. No need for a complete search. A pat down should do. Let's just do a pat down then. Stop hurting our sanity. So the dead man's pockets, you draw at a telegram addressed to Professor Tillygast. Alphone, Alphonse Lanouet is the traitor. Stop. Could pose threat to your life. Stop the herd. You feel the stability of your mind shatter. A telegram mentioning Lanouet. Maybe it doesn't solve the mystery, but now we have a couple more names to go on. Alphonse Lanowit and the Herd. I don't recognize those names. Alphonse Lanwy, an unsavory character indeed. These clues might not make sense now, 
but we might be able to connect them to others later. I think that's all they took. We should return to Wilhelmina's classroom and tell the students the way yes, is clear. Yes, ma'am. That's the case. Let's check the classroom. If it was Professor Tillingus. We're bound to find some clue about what happened Bet. to her. Give me one second. I need to blow my nose. I have a cold. I apologize. And now I'm back from outer space. I just walked in here to see you standing there with that sad look upon your face. I should have changed that stupid lock. I should have taken your key. If I had known for just one second, you'd be backed by the me. So go now, go. Walk out the door. A satchel in the style of a student's school bag. Unsuitable action makes the mythos clock go faster. I think we should. Quick look. Damn it. Examine. A satchel in the style of a student's school bag. You have found a new item, spirit, a theme, and you have found cigarettes. Yo, we got a massive smoking problem here. A ceremonial knife that protects the wielder from evil magic. Okay, cool. We're going to give it to this guy. Because it seems like he needs some protection. And I think that means we can give you this. Oh, wait. That's a defense bonus. It does, yeah, I can't actually attack with it. Okay, and... Atop the podium is an outline for a talk on the autumn constellations, including Andromeda, Aquarius, Capricorn, Pegasus, and Pisces. Ew! Not an astronomy guy myself. Not an astronomy guy myself. But I am a Libra. I will put that out there. I as you try to open the door to Professor Tilgay's classroom, you feel a heavy resistance. It seems as those inside have barricaded the door. Are they gone? Calls the timid voice of a student. Yes. They are indeed vanquished. It's all clear, students. We've taken care of those brutes. Thank you, Professor. Let's make sure everyone is unhurt. Then let's have a look around this classroom. Let us investigate the classroom. To the investigation! This locked display case is full of rocks, some with extra... extraterrestrial origins. How do they know they're extraterrestrial? Oh, never mind. I'm a dum dumb. A small telescope pointed out a window and toward another window. Whoever used this last was a peeping Tom. Despicable. Despicable. Resting on his straight-backed wooden chair is a notable item. You have found a filthy bandages. Okay. So this will require a sanity check if we use them. What's over here? Hello! The young woman who was hiding in the classroom says she was one of Professor Tilligus's students. While she still appears frightened, perhaps you can coax more information out of her. An unsuitable action, blah, 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 blah. To get an answer, you need to know the right question. As you question the student, she says a few months ago, the professor asked me to return a book to the library. I returned it without looking at what it was. All I remember is that it was a large yellow book. The student looks nervous, perhaps shaken by whatever he read in the paper. Have you heard, he asks. Professor Tilligus' body disappeared from the cemetery. The only witness is an Albert Hatcher, the gravekeeper. Whatever he saw drove him mad. What could it be? Tilligus' body disappeared? Professor Tillingest's body vanished from the cemetery? How ghastly. Who on earth would steal my corpse? It must have been grave robbers, of course. It isn't as though I could have leapt up and walked away. This Albert Hatcher is our only witness. We should visit him when we're done here. Uh, your words are not following the mouth. The mouth is not following the words that are coming out of your body. Another measure, but how's the song end? Obligatory music reference. Thanks for the help, says a young woman. When you ask about Professor Tillagash, she says, she'd been spending a lot of time in the library lately. I noticed she kept a book in her bag. I didn't notice the title, but I saw the author's name was Y. Page. If you can find that book, it might tell you what she was researching. Okay. More evidence, just what we need. With your gentle guidance, the student begins making sense. I'm one of Professor Tilligus' research assistants. Lately, the professor has been working on a project of her own. When I asked her about it, she said it was a project too advanced for me. I guess I was a little insulted, so I spied on her. I saw her look through the books in the third bookcase in the back of the library. The one with all the dictionaries and encyclopedias. She seemed impatient for results. If only she'd let me help. So... 
third bookcase from the back of the library. Bet. So we go to the library now. What's this? Notes atop this desk outline the way ancient culture regarded the constellations, presumably the most recent topic addressed in this room. All right, we're out. Did I talk to you? I think I did. Wide-eyed open mouth, the student shudders and throws a panic. A calm mind is the best at answering questions. With quiet words and soothing voice, you manage to calm the student. She thanks you with a smile and a gift. You found a new... Oh, Bromo Caffeine. Nice! Heart attack in a jar. Ten cups of coffee in a jar. Uh, I think we've done everything we can in here. Yeah, alright, we're gonna go to the library now. Yeah, library, right here. Interact. Creepy red lights. Um, okay, so... First off, what do we got over here? A note on the table, most likely written by a student. One pint split peas, one carrot, one turnip, one onion, three teaspoons of dried mint, two pints of stock, one pepper and salt, and one teaspoon of pea powder. Soak the peas for 24 minutes and drain. Put it into stock. We're going to boil, add the chopped vegetables, and simmer for two to three hours. Rub through a wire sieve, thicken with pea flour, and bring to the boil again. Season to taste. Serve with dried mint and fried cream. It was this pea soup. Vegetable soup? Split pea soup? A shelf full of trophies with something else catches your eye. Straining, you finally reach far enough to grab them. You have found five bullets and a pocket watch. Nice. We have managed to look up on a shelf and just randomly find five bullets in this uh, university. Mythos drops to zero. Okay, we're going to need to keep that. Myth That'll drop the Mythos clock to zero. That's actually really nice to have. The book and the shelf are dedicated specifically to astronomical observation, the study of stars, constellation, comets, and the course of planets. I'm not going to do anything right there. I feel like there's a clue that I either missed or that I will find that will lead me to the correct answer there and save my sanity. Literally, if you guys have not played Eternal Darkness, go check out some like YouTube clips on it. It's got some of the creepiest sanity stuff ever. You discover a record of comet sightings since the dawn of astronomy. Some of these comets won't return for another 10,000 years. Interestingly, Wilhelmina Tilgas is listed as one of his borrowers, but that was 15 years ago. Also, it has one of the scariest jump scare moments ever. A marble bust of undistinguished looking man. The plaque is inscribed James Irwin, President, Miskatonka University. Okay. So, third bookshelf from the back, right? Hold on. Where's my clues at? Objectives. Why do I feel like I have a hair at the end of my nose? Story, investigators, enemies. Strange men. Investigate the library. I think we have investigated the library. Additional information. Professor Tilligas' office is locked. The thieves have killed the professor. A student saw a library book written by Y. Page in Professor's bag. A student saw a professor looking through the dictionary encyclope encyclopedia section of the library. A student returned a yellow book to the library professor. Written by Y. Page. Encyclopedia and dictionary section. Volumes. No, that's not geology. That, that is geology. That's not what we want. Earth and moon is also not what we want. Encyclopedia and dictionary. Encyclopedia and dictionary. Aha. S to R. Oh, shoot. Is it go last name? Hey, honey. In the library, is it the last name you search for for the offer or the first name? Okay, so we're going to look for P. Browsing this section, a number of books attract your attention. The new blue title, a Thuring Green, green book. A heavy yellow, I think it was heavy yellow volume. Among the reference books, you find one listing scientific groups in the United States. One of them is called the Herd of Algeti. Algeti? Algeti. A small astronomical society based in New Orleans, the Art District. I was like 99% sure on the last name, but I, they put Y in front of it to make it like seem as if I should look for Y. Here it is again. The Herd of Algeti. They're some sort of astronomy club. That explains the professor's interest. They're based in New Orleans. Nolens. Nolens. 
Perhaps that's where the professor went on the home trip. of good crawfish and gumbo and the New Orleans Saints. That makes sense since she circled the name in the book. I do feel a pang of guilt at defacing a book in such a manner. I must have had a very good reason for it. I think we visited all the places Professor Tillingist worked in the university. It's about time we return to Norman's office. Perhaps he's made some headway with those notes. Bet. This looks like it might help. Quest item found. Clue added to the notebook. Wait. Oh, you're back at last. Did you find the cause of the commotion? We took care of it, Doc. Still, there might be trouble ahead. We discovered another clue as to what happened to Professor Tillingist. As well as an enemy. An enemy of Wilhelmina. Poppycock. Everyone liked her, even the Poppy students. Poppycock. Do you know any reason why she requested exclusive access to the science lab for several days? What? No, she had no need of a lab. As an astronomer, she spent most of her time in the observatory, not among flasks and beakers. The broken glass we found in Professor Tillingist's house Looked like it might have been a flask or beaker. Here, this is the key to the science lab. You can find the entrance in front of Wilhelmina's classroom. Perhaps a soothing voice will calm this person. Okay. With quiet words and soothing voice, you manage to calm a student. He thanks you with a smile and a gift. Hey, we got three more bandages, but I have no place to put them. Oh, I can't stack up to five. Oh, those are filthy bandages. Hmm. Hmm. We're going to actually go ahead and use a filthy bandage. Sanity check. Sanity check. No, you failed to say. Why do you fail your sanity checks all the time? Um think we've done it. Norman Withers strokes his long white beard in a contemplative manner. You'll find the science lab in the corner in front of her. Okay, yeah, yeah. He did not add anything useful to the situation. So, the science lab is right across from her office, right? So, is it here? No, this is the hallway. Oh, in front of her classroom. Not her office, her classroom. So, we want to go in here. Boss fight? Cthulhu, is that you? How did you? I could have sworn I locked that door. You will regret yeah, As if locking a door is actually going to stop me from getting in here. I don't like the looks of this fellow. Why is it green and misty in here? Look what he did to that guard. Grab him before he tries it with us. What did he do to the guard? Okay, so he's got a spell book, it looks like. <sighs> I am going to move. Yeah, I can't get close enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold our ground right here. And we're going to overwatch like this. Wait, why am I going with... Why am I attacking with my fists? Wait, I didn't reload my pistol. I have to start remembering to reload my pistol. And we're gonna take out the boss guy first, reload. Okay, okay, so we can reload. I just can't overwatch, which is actually kind of incredibly infuriating because now, now I, I would have had like three attacks on these guys if I just had Overseer set up. And then we're also going to why can't I? Oh, Overseer for her costs five. No, that won't matter. We're going to use Bromo Caffeine. And what we can actually do is move. Confirm position. Attack. And that should be the end of that. Why are you critical hitting me? Mm. 
Is there more bosses in that next room? Why did I not have my knife out, dude? Oh, well. Not much I can do about it now. All right, so let's take our knife out, please. Thank you. We're going to attack you. And then I am going to... Just in case he decides to move to attack her next. And then we're going to attack him. Nice. And then we're going to overseer everybody in this room. You, we are going to... Who's almost dead here? Are you almost dead? Are you almost dead? How about you? No? You? No. I think we're going to attack him again. He's got like the most health and he's got a club. The other guys have fists. We got to take out the most dangerous people first. And in turn. Oh, I should have used the watch. Oh, he just healed himself. No. Three damage. I feel like I should be able to retaliate with my knife and just stab his like fist as he punches at me. Invisible tendrils entwine your limbs slowly, slowing you whenever you're in immortal peril. Move distance lowered in combat until the end of the fight. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Ah, she's fine. Monophobia. Everyone else is gone. You're all alone. How can you possibly survive? Stunned? What? So smoking helps our sanity. Makes sense. Please kill him. Please kill him. I think that I will need to use this on her. No, I can't. So let's go ahead and move right here. and end our turn. So we are going to attack. He's not gonna die this turn. Why does my game keep minimizing? That or him. I think we're gonna take him out so he doesn't kill our lady professor lady lady person. And I should have used the watch. That's a that's too bad. Oh well. And I guess we'll overwatch the rest of the room in case somebody moves. Is he gonna kill her? Okay, no. Yo, AI, not very intelligent. Not intelligent at all. Alright, Mythos Clock is up. Let's uh try to finish this off, shall we? And then we're going to go ahead and attack with you on him. That should kill him. And then all we have to do is deal with big bad baddie. Your turn. Does she have bandages on her? That's the real question. Yes, she does. Use this item? Yes. I probably didn't need to use it, but she was one shot from death. So I figured it might be smart. End the turn. He'll use his poison on somebody. Does that mean I'm dead dead? When an investigator cell drops a zero during a fight, he or she will drop on the ground until the end of the fight or until you use an epinephrine item. If at least one member of the group survives the fight, all the knocked out investigators will stand up with a small part of their hit points restored. Being knocked out will also trigger a sanity check for the affected investigator. Please kill him. Please kill him. Kill him. Please. Let's go. That should do it, I believe. Are we done? Did we win? 
We beat the game? That man cast a spell. Oh, I know how that sounds, but you saw it with your own eyes. Something Wilhelmina researched proved dangerous. Fatally so for her. Yeah, and a bunch of students and a guardsman. We're just gonna inhale this poison green cloud right now? Okay, so... Well done, thank you. I don't think it was actually all that well done, but you know, hey, here we are. What does this say? The class notes on this chalkboard are partially erased as if someone had begun to clear the board before noticing the enormous do not erase notice. Okay. I'm going to search this book here. Yo, why do we have so many filthy bandages just lying around? Why are we leaving filthy used bandages laying around the laboratory? Interact. Knowledge, willpower. No need for complete search. A pat down should do. All right. Cool. At least somebody knows how to search a body. Should I be worried? No. On a scrap of paper in his pocket, you find a list of locations. Professor Tilgus Mansion, Miskatonic University, the asylum is something called a witch house. You feel the stability of your mind shattered. All right, trauma time. What kind of cool trauma did this guy get? Daydreaming. You remember that lovely time on the beach when the sun was shining? Oh, your mind wandered off again. Wait, if that's a trauma, then... I have a trauma. Okay, saving. Do we find everything we can in here? I think we found everything we can in here. I need to do a better job of maybe using my 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 items to prevent this sanity stuff, you know? I still think it's funny that, uh, the hell? Okay. I still think it's funny that smoking cigarettes, uh, fixes my, my trauma. It's just funny to me. Scattered pages and notebooks litter the area. It might be tedious to search it all, but doing so might turn up the overcooked, overlooked clue. Many of the jumbled notes mention the imminent passage of the comet Professor Tilligus appeared to be studying. Yo, players, like characters in this game are really good at moonwalking or walking in place. What is this thing? Is it even alive? I've never seen anything like it. No matter its origin, you must admit it is a scientifically important Yo, it's the discovery. crab claw from the claw from Moana. That container looks the same as the broken glass we found at Professor Tillinger's house. Do you suppose someone took one there? Okay, interact. A weird worm-like creature with strange tentacle-like growth lies on an operating table. It appears dead or dormant. Something about its strange appearance strikes your fear into your heart, but it is simultaneously fascinating. You decide to take it with... We're going to take it with us? The hell? We can't let this thing fall into the wrong hands. We better take it with us. A thorough study of the cadaver might reveal fascinating cadaver? data. I can't exactly hide something like that in my trumpet case. What? We should at least examine the thing. Who knows what clues its body might hold. All right, if you say so. Yes, that seems like the prudent decision. Intelligent decisions are being made. Completed. Madness overcomes you. Professor Tilligas spent at least as much time at Miskatonic... Tonk? Tonic, ton Miskatonic University as she did at her own home. There is no better place to start investigating her activities before her gruesome murder. Objectives mean investigate Professor Tilgus' office, retrieve what was taken from Professor Tilgus' office, find information on Professor Tilgus, continue. You're returning to the office. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up part two. Hopefully, you guys. Keeper Albert Hatcher is the only one who saw how my body left the cemetery. And whatever it was broke his sanity. Questioning a madman might not be easy, but it's the only lead you have. Okay. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up the video there. As always, I love and appreciate you guys. I hope you guys are having a fa fantastic day. Look for part three not to come out. Uh, what's today? Wednesday. 
probably not Thursday, but Friday. These take a lot longer to edit than my normal videos do, simply because we've added back in the webcam and the stuff that we're doing. Either way, again, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch. Let me know what you guys think about the game in the comments below. And if you guys are enjoying the content, make sure you smash that like button for me. As always, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Can I get some minutes for this? Nope. How long was I going to go? You said 30 seconds. How long was I going to go? 10. I have no idea. I'm not even watching. Uh, no comment. <laughs>